Good morning and welcome to this edition of uh, Hints and Techniques. Um, today I'm going to show you um, a Hunky Dory pinwheel uh, card which is a concept card collection and um, it makes 16 cards so um, it's got very good value for money and they're all floral so what you get are you get two of each of these base cards then you get these toppers which I'm just going to quickly run through so you get two of all of these and then these are the pinwheel sheets which are just slightly finer paper that you can make your pinwheels out of as you can see from the instructions there are eight cards and there's two of each card and as we are coming up to Easter I decided to do the spring one which has got pansies in it now they suggest using this as the backing card so this is my um, card which I've just literally folded in half and as you can see it's all nicely die cut and um, this is the back because you can see the white bit on there and this is the front so don't get confused so these are all die cuts so I'm just going to pop that out I'm just going to leave the other bits for the minute um, and then I'm going to want this one because that's got pansies on it and then this one because it's got the dots on it which goes with my card background the other thing you will need to pull out is the area where the little pinwheel is going to spin so I'm going to take that out I wouldn't throw this away because this is a really nice decorative edge in there and you can use that for on, on another card I've got my two pinwheels here and I've also pulled out two little dots for the centre. I only need one but I, I pulled out both because I wanted to see which one looked to the best. So the other thing I need is a little piece of double sided sticky tape and I'm just going to pop that down in the middle of there and then I'm going to remove that. then it's just going to be a question of pulling these over now you don't want to um, flatten that fold because it needs to catch the um, the air so we're just bending them round and then just popping them on the double sided sticky tape uh, I think I'm going to need a little bit more now so I don't want this, the sticky tape for this little one, you don't want too large. That's our small pinwheel done. And then all you need to do is just pop a, um, the centre in the middle of it. I think actually the pink one will look better. So I'm just going to put that in the middle with a foam pad. So that's our first pin well done and then you need to do it again for the second one now you don't need to worry about the size of the double sided sticky tape because this pin well will sit on the top of that one so um, it's not as quite as crucial as the smaller one because you you can only have the um, sticky tape smaller than the inside so I'm just going to fold everything over so, this one's a little bit easier so it might be worth trying the bigger one first before you do the smaller one because it's a, a little bit bigger so it's not quite so fiddly there we are so that's now our pinwheel done and actually that just on its own would look really lovely on the front of a card it's so delicate 
Now in order to get the pinwheel to roll down the middle of this card, you need a couple of pennies. So I'm just going to add one penny to the back of the pinwheel and then the other penny will go the other side of the topper. So I'm just popping some foam pads on those. First penny is going to go in the middle here. This will also give you a chance to give everything a good squidge. I have put a single foam pad in the middle of the second penny because what we're going to do is join the two pennies together but what you need to just make sure is that this foam pad will twist as well because otherwise you won't get the pinwheel effect so this foam pad fits within that slot and will twist as well as um, slide so I'm now going to pop that on the top. I'm just going to use something to hold it up. And then pop my penny in the middle. Make sure it slides. And then, yeah, here we go. So because we've used only one foam pad, it does twist as well. So just be careful when you're putting your foam pads on that it's smaller than the slot all the way around because otherwise you won't get your twist. So then after you've put your um, pinwheel on, the final part is to add it to your card whoops nearly put it in on the wrong way around now you're going to need foam pads because you've got the um, depth of that penny and you don't want the penny to be sat against the card because if it's sat against the card it doesn't um, move so you need to have the depth I'm going to use silicon glue but um, you can use long strips of foam pads or the single ones so I've been incredibly generous with my silicon glue as you can see and I've also made sure it doesn't um, come near the, the coin so I'm just going to turn it round and I'm going to keep the coin just stop it from moving for the minute while I paste it on and, and I'm not going to push it down too much because you, you want that depth so you can see my coin still moves and um, that's a good thing because it means that the, the coin isn't sliding against the back of the card. 